What's up guys? Welcome back to Project Garage. Today we're going to be pulling the Taurus system off of a Yamaha Blaster. Alright, so we got our Yamaha Blaster here. And what we have on the carburetor is called the Torx system. Now, if you look on top of the carb, there's this box right up here with these wires coming off. And it links all the way up. There's a computer chip on the inside of this compartment in the front. And it links all the way up into your throttle control. Now, these cause more problems than they do saving you. What it actually is supposed to do is, if you throttle here, gets stuck open all the way, it's cu it cuts the spark off, it cuts the machine off. But they go bad more often than they do help. So we're gonna remove it completely. You need some wire cutters um, or some strippers that have cutters on them. So we'll use those. You're gonna need um, a drill as recommended. You could also use a screwdriver, but what you're going to need is you're going to need these T-bits here. So I recommend picking these up. Um, these are from Harbor Freight, super cheap. Uh, you could just pick them up a set of T10 through T30. Um, and then we'll pop this on. You're gonna need this to open up your throttle control compartment here. You could also maybe use some Allen wrenches, um, but we're gonna open this up and pull out the little microchip that's in here and disconnect this linkage here. Um, and then you'll also need one for the front here to pull this whole thing off because we got to get inside here for the computer and disconnect that. Other than that, um, we're going to leave the box on top here because we didn't buy the buy kit. We didn't buy the block off kit. So trying to save money on this project and uh, we're going to leave the, that actually up there. Now they do sell a whole kit where you can switch the whole thing out. We might do that here in a later video, but right now I'm just showing you a quick bypass to just eliminate it real quickly. All right, so we're just gonna pop this cover right off. There's these three screws right here. And make sure you don't lose any of these parts because you're gonna need these to put the cover back together once, you're, uh, once you pull that out. We got these three screws out here. I got this little magnetic tray. I recommend picking one of those up get that Harbor Freight as well or you can buy it on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description but really nice because you don't want to lose any screws you know super handy have and it's magnetic on the bottom so anything metal you can just you know set it right on and it'll stay there throw your screws in it. So we're just going to pull this cover right up <clears throat> toss that aside. Now if you look inside here this is just your throttle linkage. So this is the little switch often goes bad um, so that's why we're gonna eliminate this and just leave all of this in here. So this just pulls right up, just nice and easy like that. And then we're gonna get that out of the way. Now, what I recommend is you can either snip this and leave this little rubber piece in there. I recommend gluing that rubber piece in there. So that's what we're gonna do and put some silicone on it so you don't get dirt and dust up all up in here. I mean, obviously this looks kind of dirty already inside of here, but just because we don't want our throttle cable getting dirt and mud up, up inside there, we're going to ride this pretty rough. So we'll get our snippers and snip this off, leave this little rubber piece right here and slide that back in. And uh, put that back in place. <clears throat> Once you pull that linkage out, we're just going to throw this cap right back on. Nice and snug. Pop these screws back in, and we're done up here. That's step one. That's a T25 bit on the drill. Just tighten it right up. Perfect. Now this has a, three screws. A screw right here, a screw in the front, and a screw on this side. So 
three screws. I'm gonna pop this hood off. That's a T27 bit on these ones, so we're gonna upgrade one. Like I said, I recommend getting that from uh, Harbor Freight, or I'll post it on Amazon too. I'll post a link to the tool kit. And then we'll just pop these right in our magnetic tray. Normally, you got two boxes here. Your Taurus brain and then your CDI. CDI we're gonna leave alone, it's five wires. It's got an orange, a black, a black and white, and a white and red. So that we're gonna leave alone, that's what this machine runs off of. The other one, we're just gonna take off. It's got the wire coming from here that we disconnected, if you remember, it comes down to the harness. So we snipped the harness already. We got our two wires here, so we're just gonna leave those in the thing because we don't wanna unwrap all that. And we're just gonna put this box right up here and leave that alone. Screw that down. Follow the yellow and black wire back through the wire harness. You're gonna come to this socket and plug, and that's connected to the tour system up there on your carb. So we're just gonna disconnect that here. And then we'll cut the wires just to clean it up and get that out of the way. pretty much it. We got our wire, we cut that here, that's step one. All right, we took that switch off. We sealed this off with some silicone. All right, we pulled the hood off, we filed that wire down. We snipped the connection that was here. It's a yellow and black wire, so we cut that. And then we can leave that in the harness. We leave your brain alone. We took the other brain off. Um, there was another black box here, but the previous owner already removed it. So we're gonna cut that, pull that completely off, and just leave the wires there. Because you don't wanna unwrap this whole harness, that's that's a pain. So then we came back here, and there's these two wires, the black and the yellow. We snipped that plug, and then we just snipped one more plug that was right on the top box here. And that was the two wires that was touching the ground and that was on the that was on the top of the carb so that's your Taurus system that's how you remove it now the Taurus system removal the only thing that it does is it causes no spark when it thinks the throttle is fully open so if you're not getting gas in your engine and that's the reason it won't start then you got another problem if you're not getting spark that could be your issue that's common to go bad so I'd suggest removing that if you have no spark. Thanks for watching Project Garage, guys. Subscribe if you like these videos and you want to see more work on the Blaster or the Yamaha Raptor 660. We're also going to do some more tutorial videos. Give this video a thumbs up if it's helpful. And thanks for watching. Comment if you have any questions down below. Thanks.